Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here and in today's video we're going to be talking all about Viv Vision's upcoming campaign event called Life Cycle. We're also going to be taking a look at the Iron Willed campaign event trait and that's why we're here on my baby account as well because I want to take a look at them from the perspective of my baby account so that you guys can have a good idea if you're an early or mid game player to know like which characters you should go for and which are even available to you. If you're a veteran player you probably don't need much of my help uh, to figure out you know who you're going to use you're probably going to use your best characters but you know hopefully some of this is helpful for others uh, and of course we're going to have the campaign math uh, later in the second half of the video as well. So uh, if you're ready to go, uh, before we start this video though, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. Hey everyone, Boylon here to introduce you all to a new free-to-play game which has just come out on both Android and iOS called Bloodlines Heroes of Lithus. Make sure that you click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen to download it now. This game has some very unique gameplay using a card-based RPG system in a fantasy theme and boasts some really stunning graphics. Not only do you collect and heroes and build up your kingdom, but there are just so many characters and races to choose from all with their own different powers and abilities so no matter what kind of character that you might want to play I can assure you that there's something for everyone here and they all have really super cool designs you can also create your very own heir through a unique marriage system merging powers between different bloodlines you can create endless possibilities through this whether you want an orc a dragon or a demon or anything else there's just so many options here for you to try out and you get to watch as your child grows up and becomes a shining star in your gameplay if you're looking for an awesome new game with unique features to create your very own champion then this is the game for you Download now using the QR code or the link in the description and use my gift code to get some great in-game rewards, a random bloodline and free champion alongside 100,000 gold and 100 diamonds. So what are you waiting for? I'll see you there. All right, so now that we're back here into Marvel Strike Force, I want to bring up my my baby account's Iron Willed roster. And and just as of recording this video, uh, the event orb is not out yet for me. Uh, that being said, I think we can kind of have a good idea of who might actually be in the event orb. I can kind of guess, and I'll, I'll, I'll guess after we look at the characters. And you can kind of see here on the top of my roster here, these are going to be the characters that I'm going to be working on for my uh, baby account, which is going to be Valkyrie and Mighty Thor. Thank Thankfully, you know, I got that four-star free Mighty Thor like uh, a lot of other people did. And so hopefully you can take advantage of that. Uh, so I'll use the two of them alongside Miss Marvel and America Chavez because they are Young Avengers members, which I know that I'm going to need to have to build anyways later down in this account if I get that far, of course. And then Vision, because Vision was recently reworked as part of the Bionic Avengers, which is why we're here and talking about this because obviously Viv is part of that team. So that's important there. But if you look at some of the other characters on this list... They're either not very good or they're a bit harder to get for, you know, early game players. So Nebula, Ironheart, and War Machine, not characters that I would do. Uh, Lady, Some people might have Nebula, uh, but honestly, I skipped her. I did not build her as part of, you know, the Gamora-Nebula combo. I, I didn't bother doing that with this account. Uh, Lady Deathstrike I almost have unlocked, uh, but I don't have her node to, to help farm her. She is a good standalone tech character, and if you need a damage dealer, uh, she's really good there. And likely a lot of veteran players are going to be using Lady Deathstrike because, you know, we have we have her built up to, like, gear tier 15, 16 for, you know, Dark Devitch at 5 or Doom Raid tech prior to this team, so very likely. Uh, but other characters on the list, the list, Stature, Heimdall, Juggernaut, Gamora is on here. So once again, if you're using that Gamora Nebula combo, that's okay. Uh, but I'm not, but if you have them, great, use them, and that'll probably work out for you as well. Silver Samurai, Iron Man, I do not have Iron Man unlocked, but unless you're using more synergy, like Iron Man with Vision and, and or Viv, if you happen to unlock her before the event. And in Deathlock, you got actually four Bionic Avengers members here. If you have any of them, you could go with that. But for newer players, this is unlikely. And then you have Thanos and Call Obsidian. So again, not very good. Magneto standalone. Again, you're not going to have that as far as uh, new players go. Now, one thing that I did want to bring up is that I wanted to show you guys uh, before we get into the math, and I should have had this ready. My apologies here, everyone. So there's a photo here that I wanted to show with you guys about my Valkyrie event. 
And this is for going to be for mostly for newer players. So this is a photo. I'm going to zoom out. Can I zoom out? This is a photo of me in the Valkyrie event with my baby account. And I basically cleared most of the levels in hard mode. So this is the second difficulty. And I cleared all of it except for the final hard one nine that I was still able to farm some fragments from. But basically that if you're only if you're under level 68, I believe it is, which unlocks heroic mode, that you're probably only going to be getting about a three maybe if you have some really good orb luck that you might be able to get a four star uh for viv vision or just in general these new the way the new heroic event campaigns work uh but unfortunately you're you're finite on the fragments on the levels which is really stupid uh, because this changed in a way that nerfed uh newer and mid game players compared to what it used to be like and now with the involvement of the heroic difficulty if you're not able to farm that then it makes it a pretty big challenge as far as how many fragments you can actually farm over the course of the event Event, and for that reason how many uh, star levels you'll be able to get on your character so the math is going to be in mind that assuming that you're unfortunately that you're level 68 plus and are able to farm heroic mode uh, for everyone else that's why I want to bring this up in advance so that you guys are aware that you know your limitations for shard farming is probably going to be like three three and a half star unless you're super lucky so just wanted to get that out of the way of course before we get into the math other than that as far as characters that i don't think are going to be in the orb for this event i don't think valkyrie's going to be in there and i doubt that mighty thor is in there but i think everyone else should be pretty much up for grabs other than the bionic avengers i doubt deathlock will be in there and then of course viv is in there because it's her event so probably everyone but those three that's my guess. We'll see if I'm right or not when the actual orb comes out when I see it in game. Uh, but with that said, let's jump on over to the math. All right, so some of you may be familiar with these sort of spreadsheets before. I did something similar not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago for uh, Valkyrie. Feels like we're, we really were kind of back to back when it came to Valkyrie and then going into Viv Vision's event. Uh, I don't actually have official confirmation on this at this point, but I do believe that this event is starting on Sunday, which is the same time as the milestone event, Visions of Tomorrow, uh, which is slated for Sunday as well. So I think that's when, Vi and we've already had the offer for Viv, so I think this is when it's going to happen. Um, I'm going to have a separate video for the Visions of Tomorrow milestone, though, the milestone event related to that. And if that somehow, jives with this at all i'll be sure to do that in the video as well do some related updates if i need to uh, this video is coming out first because i'm expecting the blog on friday to have information on that milestone in which case i'm going to be doing another video probably on saturday morning which is going to be uh, for the visions of tomorrow so look out for that as well and if i need to talk about this I'll, I'll kind of do it both because the way that the valkyrie event worked was that uh you needed to open or, or earn fragments or open orbs from the event orbs for the first seven days of the event um and so that was a bit weird because you had to talk about how many orbs that you could farm in that period so um yeah based on this math hopefully though we'll get to the right place yeah it's a bit weird okay anyways uh the vision event is 15 days long like most campaign events are and uh, in terms of what you get from heroic mode, you're going to get 30 free uh, shards for Viv Vision when you actually go through the heroic mode. You actually get 27 in hard, and it's only three extra in heroic here at 1718 and 19 here. I haven't mentioned here uh, for a total of 30 shards, but you do get quite a bit of event orb fragments up for grabs, some extra ones. You almost get three full event orbs by the time that you finish a heroic uh, one, th one one through one nine, and you get all this stuff. The SBCs uh, gold fragments and extra teal catalyst along the way as well and these extra three orbs is basically equivalent to 15.4 uh, shards using a 5.4 shard metric pretty sure that's what i use it's over on my scenario side uh, but available fragments per day in a heroic this is what you're going to get you're going to get about 6300 fragments if you farm all nine levels and this is going to cost you 900 energy now where are you going to get that energy this is the energy generation table and so your free to play energy is about 288 this is your 12 energy uh per 12 24 hours and then you get 240 energy from your three refreshes that you get at your variety of different times uh, per day depending on what your timers are and then uh, 400 energy if you do four core refreshes this is really important because when we get into the scenarios we're going to talk about how you're going to get to that five star free to play if you're farming heroic so you don't get 120 energy uh from the campaign events though like you do for uh regular energy you get 120 there for campaign events is only 100 so adding all of that together you get 928 energy per day 
could go more and I have some scenarios for that but I think a lot of people tend to stick to the 200 cores daily most people don't go beyond that unless you're really trying to push hard because you've got a really good red star pull or you maybe are supplementing with some offers so let's move over to the tables and this is where I have we're gonna start with scenario one this is the best case scenario this is the 200 cores daily I don't want to say the majority of people do this, but I think most people do. <laughs> this is like the most common scenario here. So this is 3000 cores over 15 days. This is the 928 energy spent. And uh, I do have like how much gold? It's just just a weird fun fact here that you do get almost close to 1.7 million gold over the course of the event uh, through forming this much. So it's just kind of interesting. Uh, the total fragments gained per day is like we talked about before is going to be about 6510. Now this is going to be all of your heroic mode and like a couple of attempts on hard mode um uh nine stage nine and hard mode so that's kind of important there if you're just doing this much coring total orbs per day will get you about 3.26 total over the event you just multiply by 15 and you're gonna get close to 49 so what that means is maybe you want to do like a, an extra refresh just to get that you know if you're close to that hump just do a little bit of an extra coring to you know get over that hump to that 49th orb and so your total shards for this is going to be 309 yeah not 310 so this is estimated from 5.4 shards per orb plus the 30 shards you get for free and the three orbs that you get for free on the first time bonus and so that brings you really close to 310 for the five star free to play now what this means is that if you have average luck you're going to get about this if you're below average it could be plus or minus about 40 shards 50 shards maybe so i've very much gotten like uh well over five star on 200 cores daily but i've also had times where i'm like four and a half you know maybe 30 shards short so if you really want to get that five star i do recommend doing a little bit more maybe like 300 cores daily just to get you over that hump to give you a couple of more uh, orbs on a daily basis to kind of get you to kind of bridge the gap if you need to uh but scenario two this is the middle ground this is 100 cores daily and this is equivalent to 1500 cores over 15 days and uh, this is basically 200 energy spent less however that does result in about not quite one i have a hair sticking out there that's really bothering me actually sorry guys uh <laughs> i can see it <laughs> almost one orb different per day not quite uh but it does generate you can see a total of 40 almost 49 orbs up here compared to 38 so it's almost just 100 cores a day is almost equivalent to a difference of you know 10 orbs which is pretty crazy actually and so that does result in a different number here for your estimated shards which is going to be about 252 so this is about halfway just over halfway to five star so it's still pretty good and if, if your goal is four star it's really important to understand what is your goal is your goal four star or five star out of the gate and that's when you should decide you know what your coring priority is going to be for the event and you know how many cores you're going to spend on division so that's really important there so um you could still get five star if you're super super lucky but more likely than not you're probably in like the four and a half star range or four star scenario three this is the worst case this is with no core refreshing just your standard energy you maybe your core broke and you don't want to do this um, but you know luckily that if you're still farming heroic you can actually get a decent number of shards still so um, you can see that there's, it's 400 less energy than scenario one and that results in t almost 28 orbs over the event rather than up here which is 49 so it's almost like 20 orbs less than scenario one but you know with the 5.4 you're still getting about 196 but what this means is that if you have bad luck you you might not hit four star but if you have good luck or average luck then you should hit four star no problem but if you don't want to take that risk then i definitely recommend you know doing a little bit of coring anyways i think most people should probably do that on campaign event characters which are you know by and large pretty generous events now i want to talk about scenario four and scenario five really quick these are lots of course for the hardcore people or if you're trying to supplement with maybe purchases to get yourself an extra star rank maybe you're trying to push for six star and so you're supplementing purchases with more coring and so this is going to be 400 cores per day or six thousand over 15 days you're gonna get 200 energy more than scenario one and this is going to result in about 59 orbs over the course of the event if you go back to up here to scenario one it's about 49 so you can see that that actually results in almost 10 more orbs over the course of the event and that estimated shards is 366 this is well over five star at this point um and even with bad luck i would say you're probably still likely to get the five star as well 
But you could use this, if you have really good luck, to get you that 6 star. Because keep in mind the difference between 5 star and 6 star is 200 shards. And so if you if you spent any, you know, you might be able to add what shards you have right now to this number and see what you need to do in order to get there if 6 star is something that you're really trying to push for. And then there's scenario 5. And I really don't recommend this, but this is what I call lots and lots of cores. This is 600 daily or 9,000 over the course of 15 days. 200 more energy than this uh, scenario here, and it's going to result in almost 10 more orbs as well. And so the estimated shards for here is 417. This is halfway to 6-star on its own. So if you're someone who is trying to push for a 6-star, you're going to be in Scenario 4 or Scenario 5 in order to bridge the gap, depending on how much money you spent on offers or other cores, which I, I don't really recommend. Uh, but maybe you got some really stellar luck on those orbs. But if you're trying to get to 6-star, this is the way you're going to do it. And uh, you know that's going to help you get there. So let me know in the comments down below, which scenario are you going to take? I am most likely taking Scenario 1. I may add, you know, an extra 100 core uh, extra, you know, like to 300 daily, a couple of days, depends on what my luck looks like. But so I'm going to start out with 200 cores because I really want to get that five star, but I do want to make sure I get there. So if there's no other ways to get event orbs like the Valkyrie event, because there was uh, quite a few additional event orbs. I don't know if it's going to happen this time around for Viv Vision or not, but of course I'll be doing a update video on Saturday, not specifically on the math, but well, on the Visions of Tomorrow event milestone math, not necessarily specifically for this. So that's why I wanted to get this out early. I hope that it helps. Let me know what characters, what iron willed characters are you planning on using for your characters, for your event, and uh, yeah, I've showed you what I'm doing for mine, and I hope all of this helps you. And of course, until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.